10 years, I raced professional motocross. If you're not familiar with motocross, it's a form of motorcycle racing on a dirt bike. We go through all kinds of obstacles in all types of conditions. We push the limits of gravity in a way that will put you on the edge of your seat. I was fortunate enough to be named 2011 Rookie of the Year, to win a total of 18 races, and to become a two-time champion. Thank you. I loved doing what I did, and I was pretty good at my sport, although you might not know it from some of my uh, mishaps. Take a look at the screen. Keep in mind, this is just one of my many mishaps. And gratefully, I'm still here. <laughs> I swear, I was a good rider. <laughs> I always returned strong from my injuries, but they piled up fast. In nine months, I broke my left femur twice, my left collarbone, and I had a three-level spinal fusion. The cumulative effect of trauma made it more and more difficult to keep saddling up. You know, this list makes me think, I'm pretty sure I helped pay for my orthopedist's second vacation home. <laughs> layer after layer, the trauma of these injuries began to leave a mark on me. What I didn't know, I was layering on top of one of the greatest traumas of my life, an accident when I was 12 years old. I had buried it under the pursuit of my dream, getting hurt and coming back again and again. But that trauma wouldn't stay buried forever. When I was 19, I was doing something I've done thousands of times since I was a little boy, practicing for my next race. But this day is different. I can't focus. I'm nearly crashing every lap in what should be a routine day in the office. All of a sudden, my eyes fill with tears, and these words come out of my mouth. It's not fair! I don't know what's going on. I feel out of control. I need help. So I go to the safest person I know, my mom. She takes me to a therapist. We're standing at the door. All I can think is, I do not want to do this. I don't want to be here. I would rather jump from one end of the Grand Canyon to the other end of the Grand Canyon, evil Knievel style, than to deal with this. But with my mom's help, I walk in. The therapist helped me see what I've been repressing for far too long. Seven years earlier, while my dad and I were working on our practice track, he was killed in a tractor accident. As many kids do in traumatic situations, I had taken on the responsibility for what happened. I created the narrative that this was my fault, and that created shame. Which explains why I was so driven to be a successful racer. I became a perfectionist. I thought, if I can go through life with no mistakes, I won't get hurt, and no one else will get hurt ever again. My perfectionism helped my career, but it also led to some poor decision-making on the racetrack, which led to many of my injuries. Twelve years of therapy have taught me how to create new meaning to the trauma I've experienced and that I don't have to carry the weight of shame. Today, I work as a test rider and consultant in the motorcycle industry. My focus is to develop the best performing motorcycles in the world, but also some of the safest. My goal is to help the next generation of racers succeed in their careers. I'm also a board member of the U.S. Motorcycle Coaching Association. We want all riders, new and experienced, to have the safest experience possible. You do not have to be defined by your trauma. And you don't have to carry the weight of shame. I am not less 
because of the trauma I've experienced. I am more because of what I have learned from it. Thank you.